testing out the graduated rates. So, what do we mean by graduation first of all? In the context of uh, uh, insurance uh, premium settings and aspects relating to mortality rates, when we define the word graduation, it is more of a process, process of smoothening. A process of smoothening the mortality rates data. Right? I collect the mortality rates data from the real world observation. Think of it like this. Right, let's say I am investigating a set of people, a big, huge sample of people at different age groups, X, X plus 1, X plus 2 and so on. So, I am looking at a large sample of people in each of the age categories and how many of them have died within each of the category. So, from there I am trying to get an estimate of the mortality rate out of the number of people that are observed in each of the rate category, in each of the age category. I am trying to find out what is the proportion of people that have died uh, during the observed period, generally a one year kind of a period. And uh, based on that, whatever is uh, the mortality rate out of X people whom I have observed, probably 2% uh, uh, of them have died with an age equal to X. Out of N people that are observed, 2% of them died uh, uh, within the next uh, one year, during the observation of one year period, 2% of them have died whose age was equal to X. Now, like that for each age category, a separate estimate of the mortality rate is obtained. So, that particular estimate of the mortality rate obtained from the real world observations of the data or real world investigation, we are calling as crude mortality rate. But, with respect to this crude mortality, there could be some kind of a problem uh, where, mid, uh, where the values may not be smooth over the ages. Probably it may so happen that uh, during the observation period, people with age 20 might have died more compared to people with age 21. And again uh, with uh, age 22, Again, the numbers would have been lesser or the proportion would have been lesser. Now, how do I justify that people at 21 die lesser compared to 20 as well as 22? In general, our understanding is uh, uh, with the age, the mortality rate can keep increasing at least for most of the ages. With As the age is increasing, we see that the mortality rate can keep increasing. But when I use the crude mortality as it is, it might very well be possible that the mortality rates are not smooth, which means the premiums which I am trying to design based on the mortality rate, it may so happen that I may charge a higher premium for a 20 year person or probably lower premium for a 20 year person a higher for a 21 year old person and again lower for a 22 year. If that is the case, a 21 year old person will never come forward and apply for an insurance policy because it is no way working out. He will think that probably let me wait for one more year, my premiums will come down. So, it cannot create a kind of uh, a satisfactory explanation especially uh, if the rates are not smooth. So, graduation, whatever we are doing, the key intention for it is take the initial crude mortality rates and apply some kind of statistical or mathematical practices or techniques 
on the top of those rates so that two objectives one ensure that the rates are more and more smoother and at the same time adhere closely to the actuals adhere closely to the crude data not too much of deviations from the uh, from the crude but come very much closer to that crude observation that have been made so the major intention is obviously to smoothen the mortality rates and try to reduce the error because of the sample that has been collected try to reduce that sampling error to whatever extent possible reduce the sampling error to a large extent possible and probably see that as the ages are increasing probably the mortality also keeps uh, increasing and vice versa but always remember when i try to produce extremely smooth smooth is uh, a, a pattern with the age when i try to produce extremely smooth kind of a data adherence to the reality may be a difficulty adherence to reality may be a difficulty and the more i am adhering to reality the smoothness is a difficulty so that's where we say uh, it's a trade off a trade off between smoothness it's a trade off between smoothness and adherence to the actual data so uh, probably i may have to define some level of uh, uh, adjustment to the smoothness some level of adjustment to adherence so that uh, overall looks like uh, a better graduation uh, process which is balancing between the smoothness and adherence to the actual data because uh, in general as i said the main intention behind this process is in general we have a notion saying as age increases right as age increases we see that the mortality also mortality rate number of people dying during a particular period for that age group should be higher compared to an lower age group but at least at least per greater number of ages at least per maximum set of ages this is the kind of a behavior that is going to get created and at the same time especially when i am designing the premiums for insurance policies which are based on these uh, mortality rates probably i would not be able to justify why for a 20 year old person the premium should be lower for a 21 year higher and again for a 22 year old person the premium is lower why should that happen is something that cannot be justified in the uh, real world so it's always better to smoothen the rates right unless there is some kind of uh, unless there is some kind of association that can really be thought of it cannot be uh, it cannot be justified so that is one of the prime reasons we get into the smoothening of the crude rates so as to explain these uh, aspects quite comfortably and so as to make the uh, make the pricing of the products quite effectively now i can look out for the uh, distributions for number of deaths now i would like to look out for distribution for number of deaths right uh, from the if at all i have to apply all these things if i am looking at uh, the distribution the smoothening process wise i can see i can create a distribution for the number of deaths so one way is i can assume that the number of deaths follow a poisson distribution i am trying to create a distribution now to smoothen out apart from the crude rates that i am following based on the crude rates i am trying to find out uh, a distribution for the number of deaths 
So if I am assuming a Poisson model, so I can very well see that the distribution for the number of deaths at age X is following a Poisson distribution, wherein the lambda, the lambda is what I am taking as whatever is uh, the total exposed to risk, the total exposed to risk for this age X, I am multiplying it with the mu x plus half means the typical uh, uh, the typical uh, 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 what you call uh, uh, the, the the force of mortality I'm I'm taking a force of mortality at age x plus two x plus half. I am taking the force of mortality at age x plus half and that particular force of mortality I am multiplying it with the total uh, central exposed to risk at that particular age x. That is what is giving me the distribution of deaths for a Poisson distribution if I am assuming that the deaths are following a Poisson distribution. Now, if that uh, e expected value, I mean, if that exposed to risk is very, very large, I can very well assume this to follow uh, approximately a normal distribution. Uh, Poisson distribution approximates to a normal distribution with the mean lambda and variance as lambda. So, the mean is also uh, the central exposed to risk multiplied by mu x plus half. Variance is also central exposed to risk multiplied by mu x plus half. So if uh, if I'm if going with the uh, going with the central limit theorem uh, assumption, the Poisson distribution will approximate to uh, normal distribution under this kind of a scenario. So in general, if I am assuming that the deaths are following a Poisson distribution. I can model the death for a age x as a Poisson distribution with lambda as central exposed to risk multiplied by the force of mortality at age x plus half. But if I am assuming that 